What's up, YouTube? Maytag 300 3000 series here. Um, I'm doing a preventative maintenance on this dryer. I do it every a year or every six months, depends um, how many times you use your dryer. <clears throat> you no, know, I mean over time, the lint where the lint will uh, accumulate. In this area right here so to take this off you have three screws you have one there three screws that holds this uh, piece of unit one here one over there one over here so loosen that up and be careful not to pry too much because you have <clears throat> they call this a sensor there's uh they call it uh this I guess this is a sensor for uh this this part here. It's attached to this wire. It's attached to this wire. It's um it's a wet sensor, I guess if it's if your your clothes still wet, it says is it and it will adjust the time. So we're gonna clean that up. This one here. So to get to the bottom one is to get this cover. See how dirty that is. You have two two screws as that that holds it. This one for the bottom. It's this one and the one and the one over here. So take that off, and this whole thing will come off. Then you get to this part, I didn't show you guys, but I'm going to try to fix it up for you. Uh, okay, and you're going to have this part that looks like this. You have that part that looks like this. So this one holds with the screws. There's four of them there, and those are the screws uh, for the front. Four of them right right there. So once you get them out, okay, so you get them. So you have to vacuum all that. You're gonna vacuum all that. Well, I guess if you guys are wondering how to get to your motor, this is your motor right here. Right? See how dirty that is. I'm gonna clean that all up. And here the bottom part. Get all that lint out of there. These are, will catch fire. Cause your coil, you guys are wondering where, where, where is your coil? Is this one, that's your coil. So if you guys think that uh, you guys don't have heat, check the coil first. Check for continuity. You should have a continuity on this one. I already changed this one. The original one burned out, so. Yeah, so check. So do that there. Clean all that lint. In that area do it every six months guys as a preventative maintenance six months or every year depends how many times you use it and then at the back you have to open it up see how dirty this is you have to take that off um, I'm not gonna change that but I'm just gonna clean it all up and take the, the vents from here to here, clean the bottom there. Because uh, what happened is, uh, you ever wonder that um, your dryer is not drying, that uh, it's not drying, supposed to be. It should uh, at least take 40 minutes, and the clothes are supposed to be dry. So, what I ended up, with, uh, what I ended up doing is, I changed the whole um, vents, vent tubes. From here all the way to the exhaust outside. So this is a finished basement, and there's no way for me to get to the to the old one. So I have to cut a hole in my drywall, but that can be fixed later. To uh, take the old one out that runs through the roof. So this is the bad thing about finished basement because you can't do anything. Oops. So from there, there to the top. The good thing that 
I have, uh, I'm the second owner of this house. So if the uh, previous owner put a, put a maintenance uh, hole here, then so that you have access to that knob, which is for your, for your water outside. You have to close that during the winter. So I have access there, then I have a chance to take a peek where the duck is going, the vents, duck vents going, so it's going through there. I guess he uses the uh, flexible ones because he has to go through a lot of, um, a lot of obstacles there. There's this AC pipes, I mean AC vents, and uh, then uh, he has to route it on top of the copper pipe because it's, it's the, the space up there is limited. Because when you finish your basement, you want it, I mean, up to the ceiling, right? You want it more ceiling as you want it. So it's all the way up there. So then it runs, it runs through, it runs through there. It runs through there, up to that pipe. And then he made a connection here. So I have to change all that. So what happens with there, with, with me is, from that connection, he only put um, he he only put one. I guess he he just wrap it with one one wrap of duct tape and and then he's off go. So what happened is over time, you accumulate with lint, and uh, you have moisture, and then you have water in there. When I took out the old ones, there's a lot of water. So I have to drain that. And then um, uh, I have at least half a bag of lint, half bag of a grocery bag of lint. So then we went to from this, we went for the for the rigid uh, aluminum uh, vent, which is I like. He went there to that side. So I have to make a hole. Uh, up up here just to get access to that connection then um, earlier I have to, to see where is the water coming down because um, in that connection the water drips down through the hole to this wire and to that panel there and see all that water damage over there so <laughs> I have to take the steps to change all that. What's up, baby? And then, as I went outside, I was planning to, I'm planning to, uh, not to change the old one, which is this rigid aluminum vent. Um, he didn't, he didn't secure it with the vents outside. So when I was going to clean it, it, it got pushed out. So then, I have a big dilemma right there. I have to cut an access hole to my roof, which is uh, I'm gonna use it as a um, maintenance hole, I guess. Then I'm gonna put a a cover there that that's like eight inch by eight inch. So I'm gonna put this cover on top like that. So that's that's dirty right now. I'm gonna clean it. So for the future. Um, for the future cleaning, it's 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 easy. Uh, I have to change the old one because uh, there were holes in them, and again, they're they're dirty. And mind you, I wasn't uh, I'm, I'm not I didn't do the uh, cleaning for at least ten years, and I've been in this house for ten years. Um, I should have been doing that every year, you know. Got lazy. But a lesson to learn, kicking the butt. You gotta do what you have to do as a homeowner. Take the precaution, safety. Um, clean your vents, guys. Um, a lot of lint build up, and it's not it's not a funny business. You will you will burn your house. So do it every at least six months. I'm gonna do it every six months. Um, I, I, again, uh, it depends how many times you use your dryer. So I'll be doing this every six months from now on. Um, I had to um, take this off to see where where I can access the vents 
because I have, I have studs over here and I have beams over there so I don't want to make a, a wrong hole and then, and then end up doing another one so it's a one time shot so I have to make sure I had to make sure that I'm in the right spot right otherwise I'll be cutting a lot of holes in this in the ceiling then I'll be in big trouble so yeah those are the things that uh, that uh, you can do as a homeowner clean your dryer I'll be putting new drywall over there that's an, that's an easy job I think I'm going to leave that open because I have a cabinet over here so it's going to cover it so nothing to worry about and that one there is the same thing as the one up, the one I, I put over there it's a maintenance hole I guess this one I'm going to cover it so it should be it should be good to go thanks for watching guys and uh and take care of your home. Thanks for watching. Bye now.